our team will introduce about Indonesia's unique transportation features. We've been in Indonesia Bogor around two months for IT volunteering work and we saw and felt that bad transportation situations. As you can see this video, there are many many motorcycles on the road and their traffic is always crowded just like Christmas holidays. Especially, Bogor has the worst traffic jam among Indonesia cities. Their government announced that Bogor traffic jam's volume and capacity is 0.86. Judging by one point is the maximum score in traffic jam, you guys can ex expect how bad that is. Indonesia has really interesting public transportation called Angkot. Let me introduce what Angkot is. As you can see the picture below, around 10 people can take that. Each number of Angkot has their own route to move just like a bus. But there are no specific stop stations, so we have to talk to destination to the Angkot driver. Then he will stop by the road just like a taxi. From here, I want to tell you about three special jobs only in Indonesia. First one we call Choki. In Jakarta, there are regulations called 3 in 1 car in commuting time. So, jokies are standing at the road like that. Saya mencari uang. Uh, karena tuh uh, satu mobil harus penumpang 3 orang. Karena mengurangi untuk kendaraan itu. Gitu. Jadi yang punya kendaraan 4 tuh jadi harus keluar satu seharusnya. Itu sudah peraturan pemerintah ya. Uh, seandainya dia kalau satu orang dia kena tilang. I cannot believe they can earn money just getting a car ride. I really envy them. The second unique job we called Pengamen. He rides on the Angkot and play their music instrument. Their boarding to Angkot looks so dangerous but it is their part of normal life. The last one we called Pak Oga. Indonesia, there are few traffic lights, so much more heavy traffic occurs in the central part of cities. So some people come up to the road and act like traffic policemen, but it is not official. Pak Oga helps drivers can make a U-turn or a left-right turn safely, and they get a tip around 2,000 rupiah. So why Indonesia, especially Bogor, has heavy traffic? There are several reasons. First, traffic facilities increases 1% annually, but vehicles increases 13% every year, according to Bogor City Statistics 2014. So their gap increases dramatically. For example, once I mentioned before, there are really small amount of traffic lights and crosswalk. So lots of people necessarily have to jaywalking to cross the road. Second, private markets are blocked not only car road but also sidewalk. Even though there are no private markets on the sidewalk, sidewalk has many holes, cracks, and too high or too narrow to use. So pedestrians who cannot use the sidewalk unwillingly go to the car road. So the situations which makes the car road narrow cause traffic jam. So, Bogor City planned three-year project to improve their traffic problem from 2012 to 2014. They set up their project from three big landmarks in Bogor. First step of road development plan was in 2012 nearby Hotel Salak. Second step of road development plan was in 2013 in Jalan Sundriman Street. Third step of a road development plan was in Bogor Botanical Garden. And now, 2015. Some road development plan is still in processing, but we can compare the two roads which are rebuilt and the others. <laughs> 